Hey, what's going on, everyone? Today we're going over the seasonal challenges for week three of Season of Plunder. Challenge number one is Antiquarian three. Return the third relic to the helm and defeat Cabal. Finishers give you more progress. The relic is obtained during the pirate hideout mission for this week, which is done through the weekly sales of the ship stealer quest. I do have a guide for it on my channel, which I'll have it linked below. After obtaining it, place it in the helm. I've been trying to determine. Challenge number two is Sextant Navigation 1. Collect 60 map fragments from Cash Crash and 600 treasure coordinates from any activity in the game. This is easily completed just by playing this season. Challenge number three is Catch Crasher 1. In Catch Crash, destroy three shield generators, hack five terminals, and destroy 10 ether tanks. For the storage tanks part, kill the large glowing shanks, pick up the ether charges, and throw them at the glowing storage tanks. For the shield generators, this is during the walker stage. Defeat the Scorch Captain, pick up the Scorch Cannon, and destroy the marked generators around the map that are defending the walkers. The Treasure Horde Terminals is during the Security Optics stage, where you have to go around to hack the pads, stand in them to hack them, destroy the turrets, and repeat. Challenge number 4 is Cannonade. Defeat enemies with machine guns. Enemies in Expedition and Guardians give you more progress. Challenge number 5 is Nessus Activities. On Nessus, earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. Challenge number 6 is Power Broker. Reach power level 1570 by earning powerful rewards and prime engrams. This is really easy this season. You can just head to the helm and claim your gift to the Thunder Gods, which gives you free instant level 1570 gear. Challenge number 7 is mid-range calibration. On Nessus, calibrate hand cannons, glaives, auto rifles, fusion rifles, and machine guns. Rapidly defeating enemies gives you more progress. Challenge number 8 is primeval entourage. Defeat Taken and Gambit. Healthcare combatants give you more progress. Challenge number 9 is iron sharpens iron. Complete crucible matches. Earn bonus progress for iron banner and for victories. And lastly, challenge number 10 is ultimate champion. Defeat champions in any nightfall strike on hero difficulty or higher. Earn bonus progress at higher difficulties. Nightfalls are in the Vanguard section and have a higher power level requirement per difficulty. Killing champions require you to get artifact mods, which lets you stun those champions. And that's it for this week. If you found this video helpful, like a sub would be appreciated. Thanks for watching.